What's going on lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. I do this every week. It is a reminder for the live data update. Obviously it's updated every Thursday. So heading into the weekend, make sure if you haven't really been on doing your club or doing your squad management or your club management, make sure that you do have your players swapped out because I've I've done this before where I've just gone into a match and my players have been on D and E and uh, it does cost you a lot of uh, a lot of um, efforts that you're making, you know? So make sure that you keep an eye on it. And obviously every week rotate in the players that are on form because it makes a massive difference. Obviously last week I had Haaland leading the line, Goretzka, Matoma, we had Modric in as well. We had a couple on the bench as well. So we're just going to swap those out for the players that are on A form. We are going to be taking a look at some of the best ones and their stats and stuff. And I'll show you how to train them up if you are buying them from fresh. We've got Martinez coming in here for Haaland. We've got Pedri that will probably go central for Modric. We have Kimmich to come back into the squad as well. Um, and we've got a fairly good team. I mean, we've got a fairly beastly squad still. I've swapped out a legend Neymar for normal Neymar because he's on A form as well. Um, let me see who else I have here that I could pop in. We could put in Ter Stegen as well. He's on B form. Uh, Scolzi, Pedri here. We already have Pedri put in. Davies, we could have Davies in if we want. Um, just to have another option of a left back or whatever. We've Ronaldo in there as a C form just to have him in. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think we have Kimmich as well. Where is Kimmy? I thought Kimmy was up here somewhere. Maybe I already put him in, lads, and I, I could be seeing the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, Kimmy is left mid. So Kimmy will come in there. We'll have Pedri as kind of like our AMF uh, in that role. And then we're going to have Messi kind of in that role in the middle. Just kind of playing a diamond. And then we have our left midfielder. I'll probably go... Will I go Neymar? Yeah, I think Neymar is on A form. If I can spot Neymar here, lads. Where is he? There he is. He's on A form. Koke gets the line. He's not there either. We might bring in Davies. We'll see. We already have Pedri in. So that's the team I'm kind of rocking with, lads. Um, the rest of the squad, we the Paul brought in as well. So I'm just going to take a quick look, right, at some of the best players and the players that I recommend. So very easily. Again, I do this every week, so hopefully it helps you guys out, especially if you're new to the game. This is a, a question I get a lot, you know, how to know what players to play every week. Go into this, go into live update rating, and then go to A, and I always start with A first and see what players are there. So the picks of the players I will probably have here, I'm going to show you a training guide for each and every one of them. Neymar is the first one. He is 490,000 GP. Um, quite expensive. Look, it is quite expensive. Obviously, we are going to have to have a bit of money in the bank if we are going to be buying him. For me, it's no problem because I've got 6 million GP there from playing the game. But if you are a newcomer, just do the events and uh, play the game. And there is a lot of login campaigns as well. You will get it within, you know, maybe two weeks of playing. Um, but yeah, Neymar is an absolute beast, lads. If you haven't got Neymar already and you can afford him, I mean, genuinely, he's probably one of the top players in the game. I would put him as top three standard players and i would probably put it put him top 10 overall like any version of neymar uh but you need to be able to shoot shoot with him you know because that's kind of where he really excels so the all the players right these players here you have to pay pay, my, pay attention to their team play style obviously if you are buying the standard players these are not set at 90 overall they're set at random team play style right so for neymar we're going to boost up pretty much everything um, goes without saying. We're going to boost up to make him a 95 overall. We're going to boost up 5 into shooting. We're going to put 5 into dribbling, 9 into dexterity, and 9 into lower body strength. If you don't shoot with Neymar, which I think you should, it's a disservice to his card if you don't, just leave that at 80. So pop 1 into that, and then you can decide whether you want to upgrade your team strength or your team play style. You'll still have 5 left over no matter which way you do it. If you play possession, you can pop 1 into that. Um, he does suit out wide, obviously, or possession, because that's how uh, PSG kind of play. And then you'll have another couple to pop in here if you want to, you know, make him a little bit quicker, get him that 80 speed and that 91 acceleration and balance. That is my recommended guide for Neymar. We also have Kimmy. If you're playing Kimmy DMF, I would definitely put him in, put, uh, rate him like this. I would probably boost him up to this. So you've got one into dribbling or passing, depending on which you prefer. And then 8 into dexterity and lower body and 11 into defending. That's if you're playing him as a DMF or a CMF. If you're playing him as more of a kind of like dominant kind of like stopper. If you don't have somebody like Makalele or somebody like that. I think this is the best build for him. You've got 90 aggression which is super overpowered right. 
if you are playing him as a right back you don't need that many defensive stats right you can go four on that you're still going to get the aggression you're still going to get the tackling you're still going to get the defensive awareness fairly okay um if you wanted to go up maybe go up to six with that but i think you're going to be more working on his actual engine and his dribbling that's kind of where you want to upgrade and his passing as well if you want to upgrade and start chances from the back and then obviously if you want to as well you can pop one into possession game to bring him up to 90 or two in to bring him up to 99 so that's up to ye DePaul I'm going to be testing out DePaul in future videos as well I think he's a good player man this is how I would train him up again if you're using him as a box-to-box -box helping out in defense uh, you could use this if you don't want any defense you can just pop it into passing but I do think that you do need a bit of defense on him now his standard car goes 28 levels goes up to 91 overall his Argentina card is amazing. If you have got that, it is like an absolute beastly card. So try that out if you guys want this week as well. A man close to my heart, Pedri, secured me Division 1 promotion way back when. And uh, got us up to promotion twice actually with him in the squad. So he's back in. He hasn't been on A form in a while, but he is this week. He's probably the pick of him this week, lads. He's so good. His defensive stats, right, might as well read like 90, 90, 90, 90. He wins so much ball. Right now, he has been nerfed a bit since the, since eFootball 22 um, and in the last couple of updates, but he's still a beast, you know, unwavering form. This is how I've trained him up. I've actually given him 10 into lower body and none into defending, but depending on how you want to train him up, obviously you have to keep one for play style. And then if you are looking for a goalkeeper, Kasper Schmeichel is definitely not the best keeper around, but if you're looking for a goalkeeper without taking a risk, he's going to be up more often than not with the form. So yeah, that is kind of it, lads. That's uh, how I would train all of those players. Of course, you can also go into the B rating. You're not obviously going to get them on A as much, but there are some fairly good players in the B as well. Most notably, we've got a couple of the Spanish guys, the Spanish league guys, La Liga, Benzema, Courtois, Oblak, Ter Stegen. Then you've got Muller and Sané. Sané is definitely worth it. Rudiger's definitely worth popping in. Sergio Ramos is good. Uh, this guy is a really, really good keeper as well. Koundé is an absolutely amazing player as well. I'll probably pop Koundé in actually to my squad because anytime I come up against him, he's a monster. So that is it for me, lads. Just a quick video just to kind of recap on the live update. Don't forget to change out your squad. If this helped you, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Peace.